This is, for what it's worth, the world's first Mary Worth podcast. Sam and Eric use coarse language, and if you are offended by coarse language, please save yourself some trouble and cover your ears. Can't explain all the feelings that you're making me feel. My heart's in overdrive and you're behind the steering wheel. Touching you, touching me, touching you because you're touching me. I believe in a thing called love. Just listen to, for what it's worth, the world's first and only Maryworth podcast. My name's Sam. And I'm Eric. Eric, we've been, we've become moguls of business. Yep, we sure have. We've invested our $10 trillion incredibly well. Well, um... What did you invest in? Before I well, break into mine. I uh I rode my new horse to the uh, the studio today. Oh lovely. It's a what does it make a a glide steel? Um it's horse? actually kind of a, a, a hell demon horse. Oh. I'd say from its feet to the to its back it's about twelve feet tall. Uh it's black, so black that it sucks in all the light around it. Oh, and boy. it only drinks human blood and eats bone meal. Um, I call them Twinkle Toes. Ooh, sounds, uh, sounds fancy. Well, when you become a barbarian warlord like me, you have to have a horse. So you, you can't talk the talk if you can't have your horse walk the walk. Oh. You have, uh, barbarians, you say. Yeah, yeah, I mentioned that last week. I, uh, I hired a bunch of, uh, de- deadly warriors, savage beasts of men. Uh-huh. Well, why, why do you ask? Um, well, with some of my money, I invested in a, uh, a meat processing plant. Oh, that sounds nice. Everything was going good. Uh, businesses, we used to swim along. And... There, Eric, Eric, l- let me cut you off. Nobody deserves it better than you, buddy. Oh, okay, thank you very much. You're welcome, but, um, uh, one day, these really big, uh, burly men with, like, horned hats came in and uh, kind of started uh, wrecking up the joint. Oh, no! And they, they started uh, eating some of, the, some of the raw meat. Oh. And I was like, no, that's a, that's a bad idea, guys. Oh, gosh. Oh, gee, Eric, I can't imagine. And then I noticed one of them had a, uh, a thing on their lapel that was a, a skull with a, a snake coming out of it. Now, oh, I... is is that not your your uh, company insignia? Well, Eric, that could be any number of companies. Um, personally, um, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never uh, I've never seen that before in my life. Oh, okay. I believe you. That's what you're telling me. But uh, isn't that exactly what's uh, on that amulet that's around your neck right now? Oh, this, this old thing, um, uh, a friend gave me this. Oh, what, what friend? <laughs> um. What's his name? Uh, his, his name is, uh, Krognar the Great. He's a barbarian, you've probably never heard of him. Uh, he's a oh. general in, in somebody's barbarian army, but not my barbarian army, Eric. Oh, uh, it's funny you mentioned that name, because, uh, oh, yeah. I also have, like, like a, uh, a field of those wind turbines, you know, the ones that... Oh, the, 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 clean, the clean energy thing. Yeah, well, I have a bunch of those. And one of those had uh, had one of the uh, uh, the blades ripped off and uh, um, thrown off into the ground like a frisbee. And uh, also, it had graffiti on the side of it written in uh, goat's blood. <laughs> Krognar. Oh, uh, mm. wow, a uh, small world, huh? You must be that, meeting some of, of my friends. It's kind of a weird uh, coincidence, I'd say. That's an incredibly strange mm. coincidence, Eric. Sam, I really hope for our future that this money won't uh, tear us apart. <laughs> I, I really honestly hope that nothing happens to us. Uh, can... Oh, h- hang on a second, my cell phone's ringing. <laughs> um, hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, Krognar? 
Yeah, I can't talk right now. I'm recording the podcast. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Sorry about that, Eric. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's... Um, so, um, what do you say we just get going before we start uh, investigating things? Yeah, too before we... Here. Before we get too far into anything, I think that we should just record the podcast, and then we'll get to the bottom of this barbarian horde nonsense. Yeah, let's go. I mean, <laughs> what a weird coincidence that I would get my own barbarian horde, and then a barbarian horde would destroy your two businesses that you've invested in. And then you'd get a phone call from one of them, right, right as we're doing the, the podcast. Right, well, Krognar's a, a pretty common name around here. So, uh, <laughs> do you want to just do Monday Strip? Oh, I would love it. All right, Monday. What do you do besides volunteer at the hospital, Don? I'm taking classes at the local university. I also do face painting at the zoo. I just drew some <laughs> kitty whiskers on your cheeks. Aw. Doesn't Jim look absolutely adorable? He looks adorable. He looks precious. With those little whiskers. Looks like a little, a little lion. <laughs> Rawr! Look at, look at this. Look at this mane. What a beautiful man. What about you, Jim? I teach great school at Santa Royale Peak. Ella. Fant. No. Ella. Mentory. <laughs> I'm so proud of my kids. I and I'm also. I'm also very proud of my, my hog nose. <laughs> is, is he transforming into a gorilla? <laughs> or a he, pig. Uh, he looks like the uh, the middle picture on the cover of an Animorphs book. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's going from boy to gorilla. But uh, if he, uh, he transforms into an animal and transforms back, he'll have his arm back. Oh, uh, yeah. That actually happened in one of the Animorphs books, I think. Well, at least he's not transforming into a giant lizard. <laughs> we can all all appreciate that. It's a good thing that he's not transforming and then into a giant go lizard. Fighting, uh, fighting Spider-Man. It'll be a big mess. We don't need that. <laughs> and then there'll be that part where that oogity boogity rat was eating uh, something on the ground and it was really gross. Like yep. in that Spider-Man movie. We do not need that. Uh, Dawn has probably also borrowed not only her suit, but also her pearl necklace from Mary. She's not wearing her yeah. trademark heart pendant. Oh, no. Which shoots one of my theories completely out of the water. In fact, I think that's entirely one of Mary's outfits. <laughs> Could it possibly be Mary Worth wearing a mask <laughs> oh, in no. some Scooby Doo esque plot? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Can we move on bit. to Tuesday so I can stop thinking about it? I would love to move on to Tuesday. I'm lucky. My injury won't prevent me from going back and doing what I love. You must be a good teacher. Uh, I believe there was a joke in, um, I think, Monty Python. Yeah. <laughs> where there was a guy with one arm writing on a blackboard and he used his fold up, folded up sleeve to erase it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that totally ran through my mind when reading this panel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like uh, Don's relaxed pose there. Uh, the thing is, though... Uh, it looks like if she shifts her legs any more to toward Jim, she's just gonna slide right off the bench onto the ground. Yeah. <laughs> she's gonna fall right over. Like that elbow is crooked over the back simply to keep her on the bench. <laughs> she just slides <laughs> over, smashes her uh, forehead into Jim. Jim's knee. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, oh, damn it! Sorry, I get like this when I'm nervous. <laughs> You'll have to ask my students if that's true. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Sorry, pal. <laughs> I mean, uh, I can tell by your passion that you found your call in life! Oh, calm 
calm down. <laughs> Dawn? Dawn? I, I know you're outside, but use your inside voice, for <laughs> yes. goodness sake. You're in a public park. Has Dawn done that thing where she's, like, scooting closer to him, like... You know, she'll stretch and then shift over a few inches. Because there's a good two feet between him and panel one, and now yeah, she's just right up in there. She's right up. She wants to get a good look of his, uh, of his missing arm. <laughs> can you take the? Can you take your shirt off on one side so I can see it? Is there like? <laughs> is it still bloody? Is there a piece of bone sticking out? Not <laughs> <laughs> not never, never seen that before. She's just completely fascinated. Um, I remember when I was a little kid, I saw a lady with one leg at a craft fair, and uh, yeah. she was she was wearing shorts, and the leg was wrapped in bandages, and she was walking with crutches. And uh, I remember thinking oh, to myself, boy. I remember thinking, um, wow, it's still wrapped in bandages. She must really like crafts if she's out here before it heals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That lady was craft crazy. She. It actually happened at the uh, fair. <laughs> just... It was a terrible birdhouse making accident. <laughs> but she was just too tough to give up on those birdhouses. She was like, tie it off. I'll be fine. The birds need homes. And then she crafted herself her own, uh, her own crunch. <laughs> <laughs> she got out the lathe and got to work. Oh man. <laughs> what a what a what a class act that lady was. What a trooper. So uh Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. I'm still searching for my calling in life. The thing that'll grab a hold of me and won't let go. You're still young. No, wait, hold on. Has Don told Jim her age? Uh, as far as I know, and the last <laughs> update I got, Dawn is 19. Yeah, but... Does Jim, does Jim know that? I mean, he could probably tell by looking at her. Well... Are you sure? This, this is Mary Worth. <laughs> That's true. Um, also, uh, Jim is now suffering from Dawn Syndrome. He could be anywhere from, like, <laughs> 22 to 45. Yep. <laughs> it's impossible to tell how old people are in this comic. Even, even eight-year-old children look like they can be about, like, uh, 28. Well, the only difference is they're smaller. Yep. Uh, somebody's been doing some sidewalk graffiti there. Damn that <laughs> Moy and Julia. Oh, the, those, those street ruffians, Moy and Julia, that horrible street gang. <laughs> Those two members that compose the entire gang, yep, and their sole crime is going around and riding on sidewalks. Such a shame. Santa Royale used to be a, such a such a safe neighborhood, and now it's just going to the dogs. Tut tut, King Tut. <laughs> yep, we have we own that guy. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Sleeping in his bed. All right. <laughs> You're not that much older than me, but you know. <laughs> I've known since I was little that I wanted to teach. The more you live life, the more you'll understand yourself. Wait, wait a minute. So you know this is what you wanted to do since you were a kid, but the more you live life, the more you understand yourself. Well, I'd say five years is a long time, Eric. Oh, man, I've, I've lived to the haggard old age of four. And, man, I know I'm going to live to be a teacher. I've known since the day that I accidentally called the teacher mom in class. <laughs> I've wanted to be an educator. <laughs> um, has anybody ever told Don it's not polite to point? Point right? Right as I. You want to lose an eyeball to go with that arm of yours, Gimpy? <laughs> but you know. And pokes him right, right between the, right between the eyes. <laughs> um, 
what's going on with uh with Don's hand there, the, mm. the one that's draped over the back of the bench? Is that a thumb <laughs> coming out on the wrong side? Because oh, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like to me. Darn it, Joe. <laughs> or, or maybe it's uh, Jim's fake arm and he's like, sticking it inside of uh, her sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my arm. Give me yours. <laughs> <laughs> he can keep collecting arms from the ladies of Santa Royale mm-hmm. and it will never, never, never be enough. <laughs> nope. All right, so, Thursday? Thursday's good. Eric? Uh, yeah? We need to split up the duties here. Oh, again? I would like to bestow upon you the honor that I bestowed upon myself when we first started doing this podcast, and I would like you to voice Mary Worth for the remainder of the week. Oh, my God. What an honor. I know you've been having a rough week, with your meat processing yeah. plant and your wind turbines getting destroyed by some anonymous barbarians yep. that I have no affiliation with. I'm sure, yep. So to cheer you up a little bit, I'm going to let you live the life oh. of a 60-year-old woman. My dreams are finally becoming a reality. I'm still going to be the narrator, though, okay? All right, go ahead. A few days later, Mary drops by the Weston apartment. Hold on, let me just prepare myself here. <laughs> do, you, do you need any tips and pointers? Oh, no. I'm, I'm good. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, I think I'm ready. <laughs> All right, let's hear it. I'm sorry I haven't been available lately, Don. I've been so busy. <laughs> good one. You sound just like me when I do it. I know. I've been practicing. <laughs> and I'm very, I'm very hard. <laughs> Fuck me. I've been very busy doing your father's job. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. I've been busy too. How do you like volunteer duty at the hospital? <laughs> It's great! I met someone amazing! His name is Jim! And he's getting physical therapy there! <laughs> You're gonna need physical therapy after holding that hot-ass pie, Dawn. Yeah, that, that, that steaming hot frozen pie. Why is it still white? <laughs> <laughs> Mary, uh, she only uh, cooks the inside of the pie, <laughs> and then she lays a frozen crust on top. Yeah, she doesn't know the, the order of how you're supposed to do that. <laughs> no, Mary, it all goes in the oven at the same time. Aw, you crazy woman. You wacko. She really put some, like, egg whites and, uh, I mean, egg yolk and butter on top of that to brown that son of a, you know, what up. Son of a what? That son of a what. So, you you know mean, what? Did you mean son of a bitch? And, uh, maybe. Or son of a gun. There's really only two ways son, that son can of a go. Gun. Okay, son of a gun. Uh, Dawn has returned to wearing yep. her heart pendant. It's back. I'm still waiting for that to come up in some significant way. Me too. I want it to happen. Alright, uh, so. Rad day? Friday. My new friend Jim lost an arm in the Tots Island ferry accident. How tragic. Mary looks so sincere there with that big fucking grin on her face. (laughs) How tragic. Mm. (laughs) She's just enjoying that pie far too much. Yeah, she's she's too busy eating that white pie. She's made... She she's made a delicious toilet paper pie. <laughs> <laughs> I think all she did was get some of that like white fondant and then just like shoved it into a pie tray and sh- shaped it like a pie. <laughs> They're just eating pure fondant. Yeah, just, just, just sugar. Just all it is. <laughs> just gnawing on it and it's sticking to their teeth and the roof of their mouth. Oh, <laughs> it's sort of like marshmallow fluff. 
but Mary knows how the Westons like to eat. Yep, exactly. She wouldn't, she, she wouldn't make this for herself. They eat so poorly normally that when they want to treat themselves, it's just like pure decadence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just pour, pour some like, black tar heroin on top of their cake. <laughs> <laughs> they just go all out in destroying their bodies. Uh, hmm. How is Dawn it's holding delicious. that saucer there? She's going to drop that fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> She's usually got the magic trick that uh, uh, Jim taught her last week. <laughs> I think this is how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great, dear. Mary's just not interested. Doesn't care. He's the type of person who suffered loss, but doesn't invite pity. That's a admirable. I think you'll need a lot of inspiring P.O. Paul, as you continue volunteer work. Mary's just assuming that she's going to continue her volunteer work. Now give me that fucking pot. <laughs> she just won't quit grasping for it. Eric, can you make me a deal? Yeah. <laughs> that you will always talk in that voice for the rest of our friendship? <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? Don't you mean, sure, why not? Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's killing me. Mary's, like, making a claw hand at dawn. Is she trying to scare her? <laughs> yeah, she's, tr she's trying to take her eye away from her. She's just Mary? gonna She's just gonna grab with her bare hand. The uh the aura of greed and uh excess in the Weston house is yep. so great that not even Maryworth can escape you know, its grasp. She's just gonna gra grab it with her hand and shove the full thing in into her mouth. <laughs> Form it like play doh into a tube and slide yeah. <laughs> it right down her throat. Mm. Uh, Saturday? Saturday. I regret how long I felt sorry for myself. Dave has moved on. It's time I did, too. No, Don. Regret nothing. You did nothing wrong. You are perfect in every way. Laying on the couch, rolling around in your own misery <laughs> for two weeks, before almost dying in Italy, was the best Complain. thing you could do for yourself. <laughs> Complaining, even though your your father blew tons of money on a trip to Italy. <laughs> That's fine. Is you regret nothing. Is Mary wearing a forever lazy? Yeah, I think so. I think there's a big zi zipper in the back <laughs> on the rear end. Yeah, I'm and I'm about to <laughs> Oh, this pie went right, went right through me. Oh, God. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> then she just undoes the butt flap and stays put. Also, hey, look, it's the return of the, uh, the pumpkin couch. Hey, pumpkin couch! Remember that from, like, 18, <laughs> from, like, 19 weeks ago? Yeah, do you remember that from three fucking months ago? <laughs> oh, my That's where God. Don was rolling her. Around. Oh, it's been more than three months. It's been like five, Eric. Uh. Jesus. <laughs> Bringing down that up just sapped my will to live. Down the, ra the rabbit hole we go. Uh, just, hmm. just move on. I'm depressed now. <laughs> Learn from every turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy again. <laughs> and once you know better, you can do better. Oh, Mary. Also, Mary's face is crooked now. She's had a stroke. Oh, no, Mary. Maybe it's just Bell's palsy. <laughs> yeah, She's got, hopefully. like, an iron deficiency. Uh, and there's a oh. little, little boy, Julia, poking out from behind. Behind the couch. 
They've struck again. They've taken their crimes into the homes of Santa Royale. <laughs> They're just peeking up everywhere. <laughs> Those darn vandals. Um, should we move on to Sunday? Yeah, sure. Let's do this. <laughs> Sunday, 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 Mary Worth, and there's no narration panel, so I just keep talking for a little bit because I sound like a monster truck driver announcer. I haven't been very available. I wanted to orient you to the hospital volunteer program. It's all right. The program I'm in is for teens! Oh, teen power. Look out for those teens. They're running amok in your hospital, Santa Royale. <laughs> oh, God. It's the worst thing they could ever have done. All going around on their Razor scooters with their elbow pads and knee pads and helmets on because they're responsible teens. <laughs> uh, doing tricks and chewing <laughs> gum. <laughs> on their wheelies. <laughs> their little wheel wheeling shoes. Yo! All over the hospital. Don't you know this is a place of healing, not a place of hooliganism? On their iPhones, on the twi t Twitter. <laughs> what a mess. What a what a disgrace. They're on the book facing... They're facing all their books. They're, they're facing off against all their books against each other. It's kind of like, uh, kind of like Pokemon, I think. Pokemon? What's that? Uh, it's something the, the teens do. Is it anything like Digimon? Uh, somewhat. Uh, my grandchildren are into Digimon right now. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> also, Mary, please, it's... You wanted to... Asia. You, to the <laughs> hospital volunteer program. We are no longer living uh, in the 40s. They're not called Orientals. They're called Asian Americans, Mary. It, Jesus Christ. You're the reason that there's still racists in the world, Mary. I mean, I understand you're of a different generation. That we are, like, you're of a different generation of any other living person. But I mean, still, come on. Because Mary Worth is 10,000 years old. <laughs> yep, we are. You know that. I want to explore on my own. It's been fine so far. Here she goes again on her own. Traveling down, down the only road. The only road she's ever known. She's ever known. Like a drifter, she was born to uh, walk alone. To, <laughs> to, to volunteer. <laughs> but she's made up her mind. She ain't wasting no more time. She's keeping her baby. Alright, now. Let's panel. You were right, Mary. Volun. Tearing at the hospital has opened up a new world. Oh, a whole new world. <laughs> a new fantastic point of view with the one-armed man. My friend Jim lost an arm in the Tots Island ferry crash. Um, is Don looking a little uh, <laughs> a little, uh, little doped a little up there? <laughs> Mary, these these hash pies. Absolutely divine. <laughs> Mary, what did you put in this pie? Don't worry, Dom. Now it's time to sleep. <laughs> You'll wake <laughs> up in a whole new world. <laughs> I can let you know how Jim feels as Mary approaches Dawn with a hacksaw. <laughs> she wakes up in like, like a basement. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're in the, the uh, charter stone boiler room. Why is it so hot in here, Mary? Where are you? <laughs> I'm over here, Don. Are you ready to see what I've become? Mary <laughs> walks out and she's wearing a death's head mask. <laughs> <laughs> Carrying a sovereign go goat's head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mary. You wacky old bird with y your dark magics. Then she jumps out <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody! It's from all, all your joke. friends at Maryworth! Uh, the whole thing was a prank Mary set up, even the cruise ship disaster. Oh, Jim boy. shows up and reveals that he just had his arm inside of his sleeve. 
We got you, Don. So who am I to come playing about anything? <laughs> I remember hearing about that accident in the local news a few months ago. Die. <laughs> the lights are lowered <laughs> as Mary Worth's voice drops <laughs> to a lower register. The captain passed out on the ferry hit the pier. Several pass singers didn't make it. Doop, doop, doop. Why do I get the feeling that Jim lost more? Than his arm that day. Because you already talked to him. <laughs> yeah, he's already said several times that something's really wrong with him. He said, I lost my arm and my dot dot dot. And he started crying. <laughs> what did you think he meant by that, you doofus? Dawn's very much like Wilbur. She's not very quick on the uptake. She, she doesn't... Uh... Notice the deep, the fine details. Uh, that thousand yard stare right there just shows that she's no longer paying attention to Mary Worth. Also, why, why is their positioning completely changed? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Dawn's on the right now. Dawn like jumped off the couch and like kneeled in front of the. Uh, in front of Mary. <laughs> if there were another panel in today's comic, it would just be Mary sitting on the couch by herself going, I wonder where she's going. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wandered off. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then it's like that part in uh, Breaking Bad. She walks into a convenience store nude. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, she's in a fugue state. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the stress from the accident. It caused her to oh, have no. a fugue. Oh boy. Oh. And also, you know, there's more wrong with Jim because uh, he had he's obviously had the uh, damage to his uh, speech center. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Jim talk like this. It's fun time. Jim have sad accident. You. Arm go bye bye. <laughs> but proud of the teacher I am. High school English Jim teach. <laughs> Jim student's big smart. <laughs> okay, so, Sunday, we're done. It's over. Yep, that's it. That's a whole thrilling week. So you want to do the worthy moment of the week? The worthy moment of the week? The week! Worthy moment of the week! <laughs> um, my worthy moment of the week is oh the return of the uh the big or <laughs> orange pumpkin couch the swatch coach to okay. remind us of where we've been and the long journey we've taken to get where we are the long long journey the long 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 journey <laughs> of five, five goddamn months uh. on this one story arc Jesus! It'll be huh. over soon, hopefully. Oh, uh, you, you mean the uh, story arc or life? <laughs> Whichever comes first, I'll be fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> Mayans, you better be right <laughs> and save us from this horrible <laughs> disaster. You've got a few more months. <laughs> Either Quetzalcoatl's gonna rise and kill all of us, or uh, or this storyline's gonna have to end. <laughs> or this, or Mary Worth will. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Mary Worth will reach out her tendrils and strangle everybody. <laughs> and will destroy the Earth. The, the beast known as Worth. <laughs> <laughs> she goes by many names. <laughs> um, my oh, the dark one. <laughs> it's my favorite. Yeah, anyway, I like continue. Old Scratch. <laughs> That's one of my favorites. Uh, my worthy moment of the week is that uh pleasant little smile 
that Dawn is giving the burning hot pie in her hand in a in a <laughs> Thursday's comic. She's just uh, like, hmm, oh, it burns. Oh, pie, why do you have to burn my hands like this? <laughs> you silly, silly thing. She's just, I wonder if Mary <laughs> will give me a ride to the hospital later. <laughs> I wonder how long a skin graft takes. And Mary's like, hey, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> In the background, she's shrugging. She's doing, like, the wacky neighbor thing. <laughs> hey, you better put that pie down there, kid. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thank you, Ethel Hertz. <laughs> the, the best neighbor there ever was. So, uh, <laughs> are we going to do uh, predictions this week? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, same old shit. Yep. All right. All right. That's uh, the end of predictions. End of predictions. Right, so. We're done. Uh, let's open up the kissing booth. Ooh. There uh, we go. Eric, I hope your ma, lips... Ma, ma, ma. I hope... Ma, ma. I, I, may I continue? Will you quit kissing me so I can get a word out edgewise? Oh, sorry. But you, uh, just look, you just look so adorable. I know. I'm really cute. I'm like a little cherub. <laughs> uh, you don't see this because it's audio? But uh, Sam's actually a, a little duckling. It's, it's really cute. <laughs> I am a cute little baby duck. Um, in fact, the microphone that I'm speaking into right now is bigger than I am. <laughs> oh. It's, uh, so you have to, have to kind of jump up at it? Yeah, when, every time I speak, I like kind of flap my little wings and try to fly closer. <laughs> <laughs> Shake my little duck tail feathers. It's adorable. It's so cute. Okay, uh, but enough. But enough about us. <laughs> Um, we have got a lot of people to kiss this week. Oh, we do? We have a ton. And so Eric and I have been practicing kissing on each other all week so that we yeah. would be able to kiss yep. this many I other kiss, people. Kiss my pillow. <laughs> I've been practicing kissing my pillow for years in anticipation of this. Um, let's it's just got, start off. It's got a, <laughs> mine's got a picture of Goku on it. <laughs> Can't kiss him that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh uh, boy. You want to start with Facebook? That's where the most of them are. Yeah, go ahead. I would like to thank Roy, Craig, Alana, Scott, Chris, Jonna, and Patrick, who said, When I look for Mary Worth related podcasts, I always choose for what it's worth brand for full flavor. Uh huh. So, we're not those, like, light podcast cigarettes. We're. Nope. The real cowboy killers of podcasting. We got the deep, rich, menthol flavor that you love. We've got every bit of carcinogen and uh, cancer-causing agents we and got, tar. Got caffeine in here. We got uh, a little uh, a little meth. Saturated fat. It's awful for you. You should yeah. not listen to this podcast. It's gonna it's gonna ruin you. It's going to rot your brains. But that's fine. We appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, on Facebook. And, and the rest. <laughs> and Mwah. the rest. Give me a kiss. Um, <laughs> Twitter. Uh, I've got to thank uh, Bartek. Uh, yep. he, he made a fun little joke this week. He said, uh, the Star Wars trilogy story arc wrapped up faster than this madness. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Too that true, dude. true. Uh, thank you, Bartek. And... Um, my buddy, uh... Thank you very much, Bartek. Uh, Craig... I started following you, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, I follow Bartek. He's a good guy. Um, Craig sa uh, said that I did a fine impression of him. <laughs> <laughs> Last Man. week. I, I sounded just like him. Wow. And, and uh, my buddy Tyler, uh, he didn't retweet us, but he went out of his way to actually promote the podcast and wrote his own copy for it, so Tyler, thank you! Oh, boy. Wow. You knucklehead. I love ya. You didn't need to do that. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I'm all excited. Uh, what happened on the tube? Well, we got, uh, comments, uh, from a couple of weeks ago, uh, Kefka Jr., who, oh man, I forgot what they said last time, but, uh, this time they were disappointed that we didn't spend more time in more time in Twin Peaks. Whoever said and that we well, were in Twin Peaks, we were obviously in Silent Hill. 
<laughs> oh no. It... Really? Yeah, that's what the whole show was about. Oh, dang. <laughs> Do you remember well, that part sorry. where James from Silent Hill 2, he goes, uh, damn good can full of light bulbs and hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that part. Oh, that's pretty good. Yep. Yeah. So sorry I kept getting your junior. Uh, you're, you're a little confused. Yeah, sorry so for the confusion. Little, uh, we also have a couple of comments from uh, Shiny Ryuk. Uh, Shiny Rick. About the Facebook. Oh. And, uh, would you like to, to talk about that for a second? Yes, I have launched the official For What It's Worth Facebook fan we page. Did. We did it. We did it. We actually did it. We're social media moguls. We are like the next. Uh, <laughs> um, We're like the next Tila Tequila. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how she got famous by showing her boobs on MySpace? <laughs> yeah, we're like the next uh, Justin Timberlake. We're like Jason Timberlake. We're like Ashton Kushner. We're, we're like Simon and Schrister. We're like Simon and Garfunkel of the social media web pages. <laughs> um, you can find our Facebook page by going to bit.ly/fwiwcast. Um, oh boy. Get in there. Eric and I both comment sometimes on it. Yeah, uh, we just I will. I, have to, I haven't yet, but I will. I'll do it. We just put it up like Wednesday of this week. But, uh, uh yeah, yep. yeah, reach out and touch us on Facebook. Go look at that. Um, it's, it's Facebook. We'll have an official Twitter here soon. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. We do have an official Twitter. It's twitter.com slash fwiwcast. Um, yep, we'll be not, posting new episodes doesn't have there. anything on, on there yet, but hey, let's we, do it. We created it back in April and never posted anything on it except for, hey, here's our podcast. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we created it and then say I forgot the password to, to <laughs> everything, so uh, we haven't used much of that yet, but uh, we'll, we'll get to it. <laughs> oh, yeah, we also use the Tumblr every week, and you can find an audio version of this podcast if you want to put it on your iPod. Uh, you want to put it on your iPod, you want to put it on your Zoom, you want to put it on your uh, Walkman, it will take some effort, but uh, you can get it on there. You can put it on your Creative Zen, you can put it yep. on uh, You can put it on one of those mini-disc recorders that were all the rage in like yes. 2001. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, uh, you can find our Tumblr at uh, fwiwcast.tumblr.com. Are you seeing the, the theme here? It's all fw.iw. Yep. <laughs> Cast.com. Uh, <laughs> That's how you pronounce it. Uh, <laughs> so what? Is is this the end of the show? Are we done here? Yeah, we're done. Alright, cool. Um, this has been uh, Mary Worth Podcast. My name is Sam. Yeah, that's not what it's called. But <laughs> well, I know, but I say My the... name is Eric. <laughs> and remember, everyone, eternity is a terrible fall. I mean... Where is it all going to end? And that was your week in Mary Worth for what it's worth. 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 It's worthless. <laughs> <laughs>